So we on Mabula, we're on Sokhwakwa Plain, um, and these are the resident ground hornbill group of Mabula. Um, this was the first group um, ever reintroduced back into the wild from chicks that were harvested in the Kruger National Park. And so it's sort of been the starting ground for how can we reintroduce such complex species. They are listed as endangered in South Africa, so there are currently only about 400 breeding groups in the country, um, which basically equates to just 400 breeding females. Um, and there used to be about five to 7,000, so we've lost about 65% of the population in South Africa. We monitor daily, so if someone goes out every day, um, we, we just try and make sure that they're safe. If there is any need for veterinary intervention, that we can do that. Um, and slowly we're growing these cores. So the noise you heard earlier was the begging of the youngest bird, and uh, we've just released a new baby onto the reserve, and he didn't beg that much. He's technically too old to beg, um, but he doesn't want to be not the baby, so he's up to his begging game. Um, and then in the mornings, they have a really deep, booming call, whether the male and female duet and some of the older males take part and that's their way of proclaiming their territory because for a hundred square kilometers you can't actually actively patrol your borders so you use your voice and, and their calls can go about five kilometers on a cold still morning. The guy in the lead there, his name is Makai Kai. He was actually, his mother was killed on Mabula by a vehicle, um, but we managed to save the egg, get it safely incubated, and, sh and this little guy was hand-reared and then reintroduced back with his family. Um, that's his father in the background. His name is Storm. Um, his entire group was poisoned in the Gravelot Zanin area, um, and in those times Storm was the, the common poison used, hence his name. And then crossing the road in front um, is a young male called HB or Hermansburg and he's one of the chicks that was harvested as a day old chick and hand read and then part of the release program and then that's the female Kapama. She comes from the Hoodsbrate Endangered Centre. Um, she was actually a wild bird that had imprinted on the caged birds there. They've got a pair for breeding there um, and so we thought rather give her a chance to have a group of her own rather than be stuck in love with an inside group. They're completely prehistoric. They're a bit like dinosaurs, I think. Um, they are probably one of the most intelligent bird species in the world. They've got a really complex social structure, so in each group there's only one breeding pair, and the rest of the birds are young males, and their job is simply to help feed that female, protect the territory and feed the chick. So really complex social structures. They long live, they live up to 70 years, um, and they, their behavior is more primate. You know, they just, yeah, they're just a really interesting species to study. A lot of farmers are still using um, poisons illegally, not, not according to the label specification. Um, and it's not to target ground hornbills, but they put out for other so-called pest species. Um, and these birds will forage. You see how they're walking through the bush. If they find a poison bait item, they will eat it. And unfortunately, because they feed as a group, they will all come together. So you don't just lose one individual, you actually lose an entire breeding unit. Um, and these birds only reach sexual maturity when they're about 10. So it takes at least a decade to replace those birds in the population. Um, they're culturally important throughout Africa, but specifically in South Africa, they're known as the thunderbird or the rainbird. Um, very strongly tied to the first strong rains of the season, and so they have a very important cultural part, or well, they're an important cultural part of our heritage. So not just ecologically important, but also really important for, for our cultures. So if you came to Mabula, chances of seeing the birds would be really good. Um, we've got this group at the moment and then there's a neighbouring group which consists of a, a female and two youngsters. Um, so really odds are on any good game drive um, you should be able to meet these very special birds.